My life has changed so much to an extent, some time when I think of how I used to see things, and now the way I'm looking at things, sometime I might not sleep. One day, as a young boy, we took our sheep and goat to a place called Nadentevit, and there was one stream where sheep and goat get some water. And as you know, young boys play. They remove shoes, scream, and make a lot of noise to one another. We went under one tree, and we forgot to look on the top of the tree, and there was a leopard on the top. All of a sudden, a leopard jumps down from the tree, stamp on my brother's head, and put a big scar right on his face, remove his eye. And from that day, I started to be like, this animal, we really need to kill them. Every single time we take cows to where there is water, elephants have already messed up that water. And then we say there is this disease that always wildebeest transmit to the cows. I wondered why they allowed this animal to live while they don't provide milk or meat to my community. This savanna grassland is supposed to be just for us and our cows. When I become a guard, I started to look at them as they are very important animals, without even knowing it very much. Makari, it's a natural salt lake area right in the middle of the Mara, where we used to take cows. I said, so the reason why we see these many vehicles there is because they want to see this wildlife. So these animals are important then. Our wealth is in our cows and our land. And the grasslands where we grazed our cows was drying up. I knew something had to be done and it had to start with me. I was like, in fact, I have to learn so that when I go back home, I will go to tell my colleagues that we used to kill animals together. These animals are important. To become a Maasai warrior, one had to kill a lion. And if you are in a group of 20 warriors together, you will be the one that will be very much recognized because you're the first one to spear and you'll be carrying the mane of the lion coming back home. In the past, it used to be very much important. Right now, it does not mean a lot to kill a lion. It means that we were destroying our own lives. You can walk from one village to another, dance with other warriors and girls, jump the higher you can, graduate to become junior elder without going to kill any wildlife. Now, every day, I have a chance to make a difference. As a community member, I will go in deeply into the community areas, into the villages, especially when they have these ceremonies, where the elders will have to talk to the young generation and listen to them and see what are the challenges. And then I can bring that to the conservation management and we can help them that way. It's hard to change the minds of an elder who have been seeing wildlife as their enemy into a conservationist. It takes a long time. It must be a balance, because at the end of the day, this land is owned by the community. What keeps me motivated is this beautiful world. I can't imagine the Maasai Mara without one life. And it is upon us as young generation to educate our people to understand it, so that they can send their kids to school, so that in one day we can have doctors in the Maasai community, we can have engineers in the Maasai community, and we can have great teachers to teach the community about the great world we are living in, so that our young generation will also get to see what we are seeing now.